is traveling between four and five thousand miles an hour. Away from his family, dreams of all these travels, monsters and spaceships. The libido, which is a sexual drive. The id, which is a subconscious reaction, and then the soul, the so-called spiritual. <laughs> That is the bottom line. All of these people cannot be crazy. Uh, life was very interesting. I never knew what was coming next. I never knew where I was going or what I was doing from one moment to the next, which was very good for me. Uh, as I watched the scaly skin being peeled back under, under the uh, sort of the real skin, as it were, before the skin. Rock City. This is Lieutenant Sulu. We are in a standard orbit around the heart of Burning Man. And this is Talk Show Camp Show. Sucking down the suds is our captain, Mr. Chuck Serino. On the strings is Chief Medical Officer Paul. Say hello to the folks, Paul. Let's get a shot at Paul, please. Mr. Cameron, thank you very much. <laughs> He's so smooth. Paul Piloting there. us. Deep into the heart of your unconscious is Captain Pepper. Wave to the folks, Pepper. Hi, folks. On shaky skull is Engineer Tom Kennedy. Can we see Tom Kennedy? Running our camera is the lovable robot, Adam. You're so human, Adam. So, so human. There he is, Adam. He's on camera. To my right is the alien laughing squid. Say hello, laughing squid. Hello, Black Rock City. And me, I'm Lieutenant Sulu. We'll be taking you on a journey deep into the heart of nothing at all. So stay tuned. Chuck, we take never us got out. a shot of Mr. Scott Beale. Let's see Scott. There he is, Scott Beale, Mr. Hey, Mr. Laughing Squid. Hi, I'm Chuck Serino. This is Talk Show Camp Show 1999 at Burning Man. This year, Talk Show Camp Show is going to make a difference. And we're going to start off by making a difference by talking to Mr. Scott Beale Squid. Hi, Scott. Hi, Chuck. How are you? Fine. Let me adjust your microphone there. You're much louder well, than sorry, me. Sorry, blowing your levels out. We can't you? have you louder than me now, can we? Can we have a test one, two on you? T testing one, two on Scott Beale. Uh, I'm testing the mic. One, two, three. Very good. Well, Scott, tell us a little bit about Laughing Squid. What does Laughing Squid do uh, for Burning Man? Oh, well, mostly indirectly not Laughing Squid, but myself and uh, the webmaster for burningman.com and laughing squid throughout the rest of the year sort of helps kind of point people towards interesting things in san francisco and beyond but a lot of the artists and groups that are out here so so let me get this right you run the website for burningman.com well there's a, there's a web team but i'm the daily update guy webmaster last minute put information up there kind of guy uh-huh yeah. well that's excellent we're moving along the playa, and uh, you know what we wanted to do, Scott, a little bit this year is we wanted to, we want to bring dogs back to the playa, and we've got a good reason for bringing dogs back to the playa, don't we, Pepper? 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 Yeah, there's Pepper up there. Now, what happened yesterday? Do you want to tell the story, Pepper? Tom Kennedy. Come on down here, Tom Kennedy. Security. Tom Kennedy to the bridge. Tom Kennedy to the bridge. Yeah, just sit there between Scott and uh, Sulu. Tom Kennedy is going to tell a little story about why dogs, why dogs should come back to the playa. We need a lot of dogs because when we first got here, we had... Tom, 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 yes. talk into the orb, please. Oh, yeah? Okay. Oh, am I, am I well-trained? How do I sound? I have no idea. Just talk. Anyway, um, yeah, we found, we found what we think was a pile of uh, human species um, that was, was planted behind the mobile living room when we first got here. And... Um, a little bit later was greeted, didn't know what to do with this stuff. A little bit later was greeted by uh, friend Seven and his dog Baby. And while I was talking to Seven, um, I, I turned around and looked, and Baby was just licking her chops, and the pile was gone. So, <laughs> so you know, I mean, uh, Baby, Baby helped clean up the playa, leave no trace. And so dogs do have a role on the playa. I, th I think that that's uh, it's a wonderful argument to bring dogs back to the fly, wouldn't you say, Sulu? You know, Chuck, I would say. <laughs> 
because, Chuck, I think this is a good opportunity to tell everyone out there that here at Burning Man, we at Talk Show Camp Show are going to what? Make a difference. We're going to make a difference this year. That's right. That is our promise for the year, and there are many ways we're going to make a difference. Uh, one of those ways is that we know that people at Burning Man have a lot of cracked skin this year, and we'd like to close those cracks. We have no plan how. We have no plan how. We're, we just like to close them somehow. We don't know how. Uh, we need to get some guestage on here. We had we had uh, Scott Beal. Yeah, I was bumped off there for dog shit story. For dog shit story. Well, Scott. Oh, okay. Scott, I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> we need to go to a clip now or what? Maybe I shouldn't tell you this at all. <laughs> well, uh, Scott, you want to you want to run this clip? Yeah, this is one of my personal favorite clips. You want to set that? You want to set that up for us? Yeah, this clip took place uh, in the past, and it's it, it's a certain length of time. So, basically, it's all I can say. Okay, let's run that clip in five. Four, three, two. Oh, you know, we missed this entire aisle. Shall oh, we look over we here? Can go, we can go by. Let's go. Okay, let's go this way. Yet again, the rule is don't shoot my butt. Okay. All right, now we're missing over here. This is very good. This is fried pork patty. Little Patricia, all fried up and porky. Um, yeah, not so exciting. Save it. Oh, nice. These are sort of like pork butts. Mmm, uh -huh. fried fish cake. Fish, you see the kissing fish here, the female fish. You think they make this here in the States? Or? Well, it says right there, made in the USA, bright boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. ah! That's the wrong, Chuck, that was the wrong clip. Oh, my. How, where'd you get that? <gasps> where would that come from? Hold on, let me check the bin. I'm sorry, we ran the wrong clip. Let's run the right one now. Here we go. Sorry. We're gonna Let's set up that clip. Okay, this is one of my personal favorite experiences in, in my entire life, being it. That what you're about to say. I can't, I don't want to give it away. Okay, here we go. In Throwing five, tip in five, four, four three, two. How's it going? Mmm, you want some pork strips, don't you? Shall we give her a little pork? Sure. Oh, oh man. Hey, come oh, on, spoken for. I, I feel so <laughs> horny. Whoa. Oh. Oh, engine's wow. a head man. full. That was an excellent <laughs> clip. Okay, let's, you know what we need to do now? We need to pause for a commercial break. So let's pause, and we'll be back. So, after, uh, after, oh, oh did, did you have something to say, Scott? Uh, nothing, nothing. Damn commercialism. We'll be back after these words from... it is. The completely unabashed chronicle of the love cult, filmed and recorded like it is. Call them hippies. Like it is. He loved to put people in jeopardy and have them rise to the occasion. A little puffball. Yes, indeed. Hi, uh, this is Danger Ranger. Speaking to you from Black Rock City, where we're at now, or you may be viewing this somewhere else on the planet. We're here in the middle of a vast wasteland, and we've created this tremendous, tremendous community. It's uh, very futuristic, and uh, it's incredible. Well, uh, you know, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, Michael, for being on. We just came back from a commercial. And uh, and came back right to Michael Michael. Thank you very much. Or excuse me, I'm sorry, Danger Ranger. Who's Michael Michael? I don't know who Michael Michael is. Couldn't think of a last name? I don't know. There are people, I met May <laughs> May. <laughs> May May is out here. She's Mike, got a Mike. Ah! You always oh, were that no. way. You always were. Every. No pictures, no pictures. Okay, well, we're back from the break, and we have no guest. We have no guest. What are we going to do? It's all. Mike, oh, Mike Connor. Get us real 
Look, a comedy society right here? Who is this guy? Who, is, who are you now? Like Morocco Connor, Mike. Oh, you got to talk into the orb. Here's the orb. Thank you very much. That's your orb. Okay. Oh, which cacophony? Brooklyn Cacophony. Uh, Brooklyn Cacophony, which started out as nothing more than a website that was totally exploiting the good name of Cacophony that was, big Cacophony was happening on the West Coast, and, and then it's broken out like, um, like a disease on the East Coast now. We had people call, started calling me up and saying, I'm here, and um, we started doing shit. So. How many members do you have in Brooklyn? It fluctuates. It goes up and down. We had Santa last, we did Santa in New York, which was fucking hot. We had a... Uh, 100 and something Santas, you know, flying in from all uh, all over the place and putting them up and, you know, going down Fifth Avenue and mooning tourists and building Santa pyramids in front of the Atlas uh, statue there, or whatever that thing is. And we ran into Michael Moore and he sang a song for us too. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do any what did he say? What did he say? He, what is he saying? Uh, some some con something about he changed the word to some consumer thing, whatever. We tried to pick him up, but he's too fat. <laughs> you, you tried to pick him up? Yeah, he was a, he's a big guy. Yeah, he, he looks like big. So do, do uh, any of the members I of the New York Cacophony, do any of the members of the New York Cacophony have New York accents? Uh, bro first of all, it's Brooklyn, Brooklyn Cacophony, Brooklyn Cacophony. New York. Okay, Sorry. I've heard it, on, I've heard it mentioned in New York Cacophony. I don't think that uh, there's any New York Cacophony. There's Brooklyn Cacophony, okay? Maybe there's a Queens, maybe there's Manhattan. I don't know about it, though. There is an accent then. A little bit. Point. Okay. Yeah. I'm from Kansas, so. Kansas. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, thank you very yeah. much. We're moving on to the next guest now. We'll be uh, we'll be making a big, big cut to the next de guest and pausing day. Here we go. Yeah. See if you can squeeze in. The camera set up to see you. Oh. Talk show. This is a talk show. Come on, you're about oh, to be interviewed. Oh, okay. Talk show. All right. And here's your microphone. Oh, so this is how you pull me in. Can you sit down? Okay. Now you must speak into this. Okay. Can you hear me? I think I'm going to adjust my seating for a second. I'm going to give you the microphone. She's going to adjust her seating, ladies and gentlemen. The adjustment of seating is very necessary here on Talk Show Camp Show. Yeah, you better try. Adam, start with a wide shot, and then zoom in after I get her name, okay? Okay, we're going to come back. You, you good? You yeah, okay? I'm all good. Okay, we're going to come back from a commercial. Uh, Pepper, you're welcome to move at any time. Get a shot of that behind you, Adam. Get a shot of that behind you. All right, coming back from our commercial. What is that, Adam? Adam, we need to... Over there. Yeah, you do. Okay, forget about it. Get a wide-angle shot of us. Hey, Mason! Come be with me at a talk show! Okay, coming back from the commercial in five, four, three, two, one. We're back. We're back to talk show, camp show. Thank you for for staying tuned, and we've got a guest with us right now. Adam, let's get a close-up. And uh, what is your name, young lady? It's Liad. Liad? Yeah. That's a wonderful name. Thank you. And uh, what, what, what theme camp are you with? I'm with Magma Fox, right over there. What's your address, your street address? It's Mars and 6530, I'm sorry. Mars and 530? Yes, yes, they're Very the, so, they're the stilted. Fire performers. Stilted fire performers. Yeah, no fire right now. Saving that for the night. So what do they do? They get on stilts and they and they all get on stilts and and they do fires. Uh, yeah. And I dance around. Oh, and I play harp too. You play harp. What kind yes. of harp? It's actually it's a folk harp, but I don't play it as a folk harp. I brought it with me. Oh, is it with you here? It's with me in my camp. Oh, I'm it's planning on on uh, on hovering it around, like pushing it around. Excellent. Making excellent. music. Making music with that yes, harp. Yes, with a harp mobile, so I could I could carry it. Our, our Make music while I walk. Our theme at Talk Show Camp Show this year is making a difference. 
how will you make a difference here on Talk Show Cam Show and in general at Burning Man? Well, as far as, as contributing to the difference, I think it's very important for each person to be an individual. I think a lot individual. of people... Yeah, I think a lot of people this year, you know, they're coming to hop on other people's projects. You have to set out before you leave with your own vision of what you want to do and and manifest it and so you're ready to, to do it when you come to Burning Man. That was my thing. I brought two different outfits for each day. I'm all for the nudity thing, although it's the temperatures are a little little low for me right now. Little but, low, little but low. you know, in order in order to, to bring change to the rest of the world, we need to start it right here. And so you have to be prepared. You have to be prepared to perform. You have to be prepared to be an individual. Well, speaking of being prepared, have you are you prepared to show your clip? My clip? You brought a clip today, and we're going to roll that in right now. You, you brought a clip from your latest feature. I did. Would you like to set this clip you, up? Yes, please set the clip up. Explain, explain what we're about to see. Where, where's the camera? The camera's where's, right up there. I understand. Where's the clip? Are you, I understand you have to, this is a very touching you, love scene between touching. you and Mel Gibson, within which you tell him that you have cancer. Is that right? Yeah, it is. Let's roll the clip. I was, I was hoping that you wouldn't do this to me, but now roll that, now it's all coming five, out. Five, four, four three, two. I know it was. It's a downer. It was. That's it was sucks. hard. I, I have a hard time watching it. It makes me. It makes me cry every time. I feel. Like I don't know if I can talk about it. Well, well, you let's know. Not, let's 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 bring the 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 emotions up a little bit and have some wine. Then we won't be so depressed wine. about our clip. Woohoo! Yes. Here. Why well, I think it's time for commercial, isn't it? It's almost time for commercial, but first we're going to show everyone drinking wine on a motorized vehicle so that we can be arrested later. Okay, we're going to pause for a spot here. A commercial break in Talk Show Camp Show. We'll be right back after these words from... Desires. Who is this man? Where did he come from? She thought she was going mad. She did not know that she was being tormented by a man perverted with indecent desires. was this girl chosen to be tortured? What was there in her past that drove this man wild with indecent desires? This is talk show, camp, show. At Burning Man 1999. And I'm here with Paul Carey on guitar. And we've got Sulu. Thank you, Chuck. We've got Scott Beale. And over here, we haven't introduced Mr. Brian Hannish yet, who is uh, procuring all our talent. The man. And on, on, the camera, on camera, we've got Adam Smith. Boy robot. Can we see Adam Smith there on camera? A little tilt up would help you. Adam. He's almost human, isn't he? Right. And we got Tom Kennedy over there. Tom Kennedy is the owner of the famous Shark Car. 
And Pepper Mauser is our captain. Can we see a shot of Pepper? Pepper Mauser's with us, ladies and gentlemen. Sulu. Yes, Judd. Uh, you wanted to make a public service announcement. We had some rumors we also wanted to dispel here on the playa. There's a couple of rumors. Yeah, what are those rumors? Number one, we have a retraction. It is now okay to take the brown acid, but please, please, don't drink the Kool-Aid at Cast Town. No, 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 no. Don't Number two, and I mean this in all seriousness, because we are, what, going to make, make a, a difference. difference. The rumor is that there are members of DEA dressing as BLM. <laughs> Another one of those government plots to undermine the intelligence of our wonderful people here at Black Rock. So if anyone, anyone in a uniform asks you for drugs, please make sure you get full market value for your purchase. I, right. I also heard this, that they have undercover Agents working with them to dress as raver girls, raver chicks. Raver chicks? Un <laughs> undercover. <laughs> undercover. Would they be topless? You can't make this shit up. <laughs> so please, <laughs> if you are asked for drugs by a raver chick, ask for sexual favors first. <laughs> That'll smoke out the fakers. That's right, Oh, oh and if, if someone comes, to your, someone comes to your camp and tries to trade a machete for drugs, don't do it. No. Well, that I, came up last night. No, some guy was trying to machete. Trade a machete. To, to out the, uh, the, the big drug connection dealer. Uh, Be careful. And we, did we have any other public service announcements, Sulu? Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Now we have a message from Mr. Tokyo Rico. Tokyo Rico's with us in five, four, four three, three, two. This is Tokyo Rico. And I've come to you tonight via a medium that's new, to me anyway, video. Now you can tell your friends you've seen Tokyo Rico's mouth. And since you're staring at it, you may as well read my lips. Burning Man 99 is devolving into violent chaos, and you are helpless to stop it. <sighs> Chances are you don't want to hear that right now. Chances are you're a little loaded, maybe even a lot loaded. You want to be told that Burning Man is a happy, smiling, sunshine land full of lovely puppies and their benevolent, smiling, flower-festooned masters. You want to spend a week in the desert ensconced in a fantasy land where the art is good and free and the people are naked and stoned and the cops are so impressed by the vibe that they put down their billy clubs and start handing out strawberries laced with good acid. Well, sad to say, that is far from the way things are. Look out into the playa. Dark, isn't it? Who knows what could be lurking out there? I'll tell you who knows. Me. I have sources. And the sources tell me that the lions are loose. <sighs> Let me tell you about the lions. They eat meat. Lots of it. And they don't care where they get it. Don't worry about where the lions came from or how so many hundreds of them managed to appear on the playa or why they're so hungry. What you need to understand right now is that the lions are out there. And when one of them is coming for you, you'd better watch out. When a hungry lion encounters a human, here's what it does. It hurls all several hundred pounds of its body through the air, hitting the average male just around the sternum, knocking the wind from his lungs and toppling him to the ground. Once the lion has his victim prone, he sets to ripping him apart, sort of like a big bloody rag doll. To do this, the lion uses claws about this long that are sharp as a razor. Skin, bone, organ, it's all the same to a lion claw. It mercilessly dissects a person no matter how hard he or she screams. Man, it's an awful sight. If you see it once, you never want to see it again. But if you remain in Burning Man for even a few minutes longer, well, you might see that scene played out over and over all around you before a lion decides you've seen enough and gives you an up-close and personal demonstration. It doesn't have to be this way. All you have to do right now is go to your camp, pack up your things, and leave Burning Man. If you're too high to drive, well, ask a friend. And if they say no, well, that's no kind of friend in the first place. Why would you even want that sort of friend? What sort of friend drags you up to Burning Man, gets you high, and then won't help you escape the bloodthirsty lions? No, all your real friends are back home. Remember home? It's where all the good people live. They've got pizza and warm soups, heated swimming pools and showers with piping hot running water. They have cars, and you can drive with them to the movies sometimes to see big budget features like The Haunting and The Mummy. 
There's no harsh wind or dust in a theater, and they've got the most sparkling, clean, minty, fresh-smelling toilets you can imagine. Best of all, if a lion manages to somehow stroll into your hometown, you can call the police, and they'll come and kill it. But all the police in Gerlach couldn't stop the huge, rabid lion whore that's heading for you right now. That's why I urge you to leave and go back to the good people waiting for you in your hometown theater. It's either that, or spend the last few seconds of your life knowing what it's like to have a lion's toothy jaw chomp down through your face like a giant staple remover. I know you'll do the right thing. This has been Tokyo Rico, with a transmission. Welcome back to Talk Show Camp Show. I'm Chuck Serino here with the gang, and we're here with Reverend Al. Reverend Al, you've got to talk... Reverend Al? Reverend Al. Reverend Al. Reverend Al. Oh, you wanted Reverend Al? Yeah, I wanted Reverend Al. Oh, shoot. Um, I just... I've never been on TV before. I thought it would be kind of cool to actually... Tell it. I can talk about it. What do you want me to talk about? Well, you have a theme camp here this year that's going to blow up really oh, the, good. Oh, the sex camp? The sex Oh, is that... Oh, no. The small something. The small sex... Uh, small sex I, camp I, I world. I resent that, actually. Um, the small, oh, this, oh, this, this small spinny thing? Small spinny thing. I'll yeah. tell you what. I'll tell you what. Uh, our cameraman will get a, a, a... Can you get a shot of, of the small... Can we stop here, Pepper? And our camera... Shot of this... And uh, tilt up, tilt up, Mr. Adam, our camera operator, and look at the, what is this, Al? Explain this to well, us. Well, I, I really, I'm not too certain. It sort of dropped down out of the sky, and uh, it looks like something ugly that I saw in Anaheim once, actually. Whoa. Yeah, it's some sort of, uh, it was made out of plastic and fiberglass and stucco, and it was inhabited by small creatures with little animatronic jaws that just chop, chop, chop and they sang in different languages. That's one of the scariest things I've ever heard. I've actually uh, never, I've never, never dared enter, and so we thought we'd just build the facade and that would be a good sort of step towards entering. That's kind of a behavioral adaptation mm -hmm. program I'm going through. It's pretty expensive, too. I That's tell you. Really? Did you pay for it out of your own pocket? It's actually state funded. State yeah. funded by the state of... Well, it was, it, when I got out of prison, it was part of the, part of the, uh, the, program that I had ah, to go through. Excellent. Yeah. It's it's so good they're offering those programs now. It's a new thing. Yeah. It's, it's a new only, thing. It's only in Nevada. So only it's only in Nevada. So you get out of prison in Nevada yeah. and you get to have a, a, a yeah. theme camp at Burning you Man. You build a theme camp and this was happened to be something that I had a you know an incident with during in my childhood. Right. So oh, you're you're oh, working that out. I'm working it as through part of, it's uh, kind of purging the inner child in my my small problems. Is there an on camp uh, 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 person you can talk to in case you, in case you start to revert? Mr. Thumb. Mr. Thumb. He's not dr actually kind of came off and we're doing a lot of work manual labor so but Mr. Thumb is usually clearly demarcated on mm, smile the, the eyes the nose the nose the nose is off. Mr. Thumb. Thumb is with us ladies and gentlemen. Well now I understand you brought a clip with you. And yes. Can, can yes. you set up that Can clip? you roll the clip? Yeah we can roll it yeah. if you set it up only yeah, if you set I'd it like up. Yeah I'd like to set it up. Okay. Uh, this is uh, the incident I was referring to that it happened inside the uh, small world ride when yeah. I was uh, seven years old. Okay. Here we go. Rolling to the clip in five, three, two, one. Seen anything like that? Any after comments, Reverend? Al? He's lit. He's gone. He's out of here. We've embarrassed him in such a way. We've embarrassed him. He's gone. Goodbye, Reverend Al. Thank you. You want me to Thank shoot him, Chuck? Much. Just shoot him. Just I'll shoot him a little bit. I? Shoot him really good. Shoot him. <laughs> Thank you, Sulu. He never saw what hit him. I uh, know. <laughs> you know, his back just burst into a big, bloody pulp. <laughs> that was very, very interesting. Like shooting Zargons in a barrel. Well, you know what? <laughs> We've got to wrap up today's show, tonight's show, talk show, camp show, 1999 show, episode one. Uh, Sulu, why don't you recap everybody that's with us, and then we'll go to our final thing.
Swing the camera around, will Swing you, Adam, the boy around. android? The man in the helmet, Mr. Laughing Squid, whose name I always forget due to strange mind control. Scott B. I I know you, Scott. You're a very <laughs> just man. Very attractive woman whom I've never met. But damn, she looks good. It's What's her name? She sits there and then smiles. Next to her, Mr. Brian Hannish, talent coordinator, craft services, Freemason. The camera, Adam the boy android. Someday he'll have real human emotions. Someday. Mr. Tom Kennedy, shaking a skull, looking threatening. He's one groovy, badass motherfucker. Piloting us. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Captain Pepper. Piloting us and around the black holes of boredom here in Black Rock City. On guitar, the swinging astral Mr. Paul Carey. Say a few words for us, Mr. Paul. Just a few. Thank you Just very much. Very and behind the desk, Mr. Chuck Serino. Thank you very much. Admiral Chuck, we call him. And me, I'm Lieutenant Sulu. Reminding you all to be cosmic. Cosmic. Put a standard orbit around your anus. Around your anus. And of course, all systems groovy, a head full, steady as she goes. Warp nine points swinging. This is Talk Show Camp Show. Get home, Paul. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. through his eyes, beauty and all its mm, natural glory. Lucky Pierre, always in the middle of gals and gags in as saucy a dish of A1 adult cinema fare as you'll ever taste. Lucky Pierre. Thank you. 